Welcome to Speed Superbikes. Here today we have an absolutely gorgeous looking Kawasaki uh, 650 Vulcan. Uh, this is the S model, obviously where you've got the improved graphics. Um, lovely looking bike, I can say this is a 70 plate 2020 machine. Only got 4,200 miles on the clock. Uh, three owners, uh, and again we've got the original handbook with the bike and MOT till the end of this year. Uh, December 2024 and obviously full HPI clear. Uh, I'll go through uh, the bike with you. Obviously this uses the same engine as in the Kawasaki Ninja. So you've got a, a double overhead cam, liquid cooled fuel injected parallel twin. Obviously then you've got your monoshock rear chassis. So uh, again, unlike a lot of the other cruisers, really good geometry on this. Uh, every road test I've ever seen is that the bike really goes and handles incredibly well. More like a normal sort of sporty road bike than a cruiser. Uh, so yeah, very very good bike all round. I'll talk you through the bike. So obviously uh, additional bits on the bike obviously are the fly screen uh, and again I'll talk you through it as we go but say so no no uh, scrapes or dashes or bashes or anything on the screen. Obviously headlight good condition. Probably uh, it looked hard enough there might be the odd little polish mark on there but very good condition. Same as obviously the paint on the front mudguard as you obviously expect for a bike at this age anyway. Paint on the wheels, excellent. They say no sort of like corrosion or anything to any extent on any of the fasteners. Obviously at the front of the bike on the radiator. And obviously the exhaust, which are stainless, pretty much as new. Um, again, engine bars on this bike as well. So a nice little extra there. Uh, safety precaution, just in case you did drop the bike. Obviously you're not gonna damage anything on the bike, just engine bars do the job. As you can see, engine itself lovely condition no marks scrapes or anything same as on the pegs nice and clean all round nothing on the bar end so no signs of bikes ever been docked or anything just a nice clean bike all round again try to be over fussy for I'm sure tiny little stone chip on the front there uh, but again I hope it's not actually gone through And again, the exhaust, just generally very good all around. Even if you look like deep into the bike, you can tell it's probably never been out in the rain because there's no splash marks or anything up the back of the engine anywhere. So just generally very, very good condition all around. Same with the back of the bike. All very clean. Obviously the seat, very good condition. No marks, tears, rips or anything. Okay, another addition, you've got the backrest and the sissy bar and rack on there as well. Nice little touch for the cruiser. And you say paint on the rear wheels, obviously a little bit of discoloration on the chain sprock as you expect. It's what you get when you lube a chain. But as you can see on the swinging arm and everywhere else, it's just very very good condition all round. Obviously you've got the slightly forward pegs on these, they're not exactly midships, they're slightly forward just to give you a little bit more leg room, increase the comfort on these. Again, and so you've got that lovely two-tone colour on the tank metal flake, at least the light doesn't do them that any favours because obviously you've got artificial light. Again if you're trying to be really fussy, tiny little mark there where maybe someone's caught it, as I've got on the bike. mirrors or anywhere else obviously got the dual dash on these so you've got your conventional rev counter but then your digital speedo and obviously digital fuel gauge digital gear indicator and obviously showing just over 4200 miles
Obviously, full details of the bike will be on our website, speedthrills.co.uk. If you'd like any further information, obviously, please feel free to give us a call on Exeter 01392 211 246. And hopefully, if you found this video useful, please feel free to give us a like and hopefully subscribe. Thanks again for watching.